Take everything you know about the old Mercedes-Benz A-Class and chuck it. Because Mercedes-Benz is bringing sexy back with a brand new A250 Sport engineered by AMG. Now what have they done to the uh, brand new A-Class? Well, if you can't already see the striking difference, which is as obvious as the daylight I'm standing under, there's something wrong with your sight because the transformation is nothing short than wow. So this is what Mercedes have done. They've taken the old car, they've smashed the roof down and make this car lower. Then they've stretched the car to make it longer and they've come here to the back and then they do some magical thing to make the car wider. So what do you have? A lower, longer and wider car automatically translates to sportiness. And look, bonnet, cab, cab backwards. Immediately, sportiness, luxury sportiness. And that's just the outside. Okay, and then in here, the sexiness definitely oozes inside as well. What you get here is a beautiful cockpit. It automatically tells you that this is a sportier Mercedes-Benz. Why? Because you've got the flat bottom steering wheel, red accents everywhere on the aircon vents and um, on the door trim as well. And then you've got this carbon fiber look finish, which just, well, in my opinion, looks absolutely brilliant. And in case you forget, red seat belts. Yowza! Having said all that, there's more. The leather and sweet seats are beautiful. The controls are within reach and the car comes equipped with max version of iDrive. Also, goodies like collision prevention assist, free safe seat belt pretensioners, reverse camera and eco start stop. At the back, it's a comfy place for your pals despite the tapering roof. However, uh, on the brochure, it says it seats five people comfortably, three at the back. Um, I would say that to have three at the back is a little bit of a stretch. Uh, four people in the car would probably be the best bet that you would get. Now that's the inside taxi parts. Alright then, we're going to continue to have a look at the uh, outside here. What other racy bits are there? Of course! If it's a racy bit, it has to be red. So the red um, accent on the uh, lower lip there is uh, definite. Now, one of the more interesting things about this 250 Sport um, is the grill here. It's got this very unique diamond design. Now, well, who says you can't get diamonds when you buy cars, eh? Now you get diamond design grills and all. I mean, you know what next? I don't know. It's really, really pretty. Uh, but also there's 18-inch uh, um, alloys with red calipers and perforated brake discs completes the package and one look and you will know that this is the 250 Sport. Now, it looks good, but how does it drive? Let's find out. When you're driving the new A250, you want to show off and you are definitely going to be able to show off. It's a bling of a vehicle at the stoplights, but this is something else you can do. The steering is as precise as you can get. This is a modern rendition of electronically or rather electrically assisted um, steering wheel and the steering response is pretty awesome. It gives you good chatter as well. You know exactly what's going on underneath. Uh, it may not be go-kart handy. Hey, speaking of go-karts, look, it's a go-kart over there. Well, this car may not be as uh, good in handling as that baby over there. It might not be as much fun, but this entire package is pretty good. It definitely gives you smiles. And when you can do stuff like this... <laughs> good fun, definitely good fun. Um, I have potentially discovered a problem, all right? Um, quality control. 
Mercedes-Benz, uh, you are expecting to get a top-notch package, uh, good quality materials. Generally speaking, it is. You do have some low-rent plastics right here in the bins, but this is the thing that annoys me. If the camera could come here, I'll show you. You see this part over here, this part and this part over here, where you have the adjustable seat belts, it rattles. It really, really rattles. When you're driving, you can hear and that really, really would annoy you. Now, I found a 20 cent solution for it. Literally 20 cent. You know what you need to do? You just need to uh, slide that in there like that. Problem solved. So what's the verdict? Definitely congratulations to Mercedes-Benz because they've managed to redefine the target market for a specific product, the A-Class, by giving it 20 bags of sex appeal. Much needed. And, well, it's not exactly the final say in hot hatchery. Of course, you've got the Audi A3s and the BMW 1 Series for it to contend with. And just a couple of grand down south, you've got the almighty Volkswagen Golf GTI. But performance-wise, yes, it might remain debatable. But the biggest success story over here is from Mercedes-Benz by creating this new brand image that it is suitable and wantable by the young, hip, trendy, and fashionable set out there. You know what? Those kind of looks and the performance to boot, this might just be the brand new poster boy for all the it boys and girls out there. <laughs>